Hey everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of our ice cube recipes. This one is called the caramel celebration. You will need one quarter of a cup of almond milk. This is also paleo friendly, just so you know, and vegan. You're also going to need a half a cup of packed coconut sugar. You're going to need a half of a teaspoon of pure vanilla. And then you're also going to want to add four teaspoons of ghee, the clarified butter. So this is what's gonna keep this um, vegan and paleo friendly, very simple recipe. And this is what we are going to use to make a caramel syrup that we're going to add to our caramel celebration ice cubes so that we can make some delicious iced coffee recipes with it. Once we have all of those ingredients in our saucepan, we're going to heat this over a medium high heat. We're gonna to stir it all together, together very well and let it boil just until it's darkened. This will take about five minutes. It's also going to allow this to thicken up a bit to make it into a nice syrup. After about five minutes, go ahead and turn the heat off. You will notice that when you stir the pot at the bottom, there, you'll see a clear separation and be able to see the bottom of the pan as you make like a line through it. That lets you know that your syrup is finished and that it's thickened up enough for you to get ready to transfer to a separate container. Um, you will want to make sure that you transfer this into an airtight container because we will not use all of this for our ice cube recipe. We're only going to need about one and a half tablespoons of this syrup, but this is an excellent syrup to have on hand to add to other lattes, iced coffees, um, and other recipes that you might want to use. So don't just discard it. Make sure that you put it into an airtight container so that you can store it into the refrigerator to use later. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our ice cube tray out so that we can begin the ice cube recipe part. You will need to make sure that you have some cold brew ready to go and already prepared. You'll want one cup of that cold brew. This is our biotics brew. I've talked about this before. It's one of my favorites. It's specifically made for a cold brew and it also has those yummy and good for us probiotics incorporated into it. So it's an excellent and healthy cold brew to use. Then you're going to want to go ahead and measure out one and a half tablespoons of that caramel syrup that we just made. And we're going to just mix this into our cold brew as well as we can before we transfer this into our ice cube tray. Once we have evenly distributed this amongst the ice cube tray, then we're going to pop this into the freezer and it will take at least three to four hours to um, freeze up. After a couple hours, you get these beautiful ice cubes ready for those cold brew and iced coffee drinks. 